the next thing that we want to do over here is to create a stream so i had given you as assignment and i hope you were able to do it if not let us continue over here so i'll just duplicate this one so i think i'll just copy and paste it over here and uh, this one will rename this one to something like uh, notifier stream and underscore stream and that should be fine right so yeah so we got change it and we also need to change this one to notifier right so just copy this section and uh, replace it everywhere and i have to replace it here too and here too and also over here do not replace this state because we need that state over here okay well, i think i just made it something over here i need to push it over here okay the error is gone the next thing is that what we need to do is we need to go down and we need to replace this stream builder because we are not going to use make use of this stream builder anymore so we have to just make use of the stream over here uh, sorry the list view so just uh, replace it as a list view over here and uh, we will go down okay i think first of all let's go and add we need to add a final variable of uh, employees which is of equals to we can get it through the context dot watch and uh, we need to watch the employee notifier right so this is the provider that we need to watch and once we got that and i can just get the employee list stream right once we have that and that should be fine and uh, once we got that i think i can just remove this and we will go down and fix the error that we have currently here so i can remove this one and this is not needed all right and okay so i need that one so i have to remove this sorry i think i have to remove this semicolon over here and that should be fine and uh, here what we need to provide is a bracket one more bracket right so let's provide this one two and here we need to provide the semicolon and i think all of this is not required yeah so i think that should be fine and let us try to arrange a bit and i think that should be fine so we are we don't have any error that should be fine and the next thing is that okay i need to fix it as a const okay so uh, once we got that i think we are ready to go because we have the list set set up everything over here and let's go back to the change notifier that we have to fix it right so get employee stream so let me try to run my application and uh, let us try to go over here uh, it's uh, working fine because uh, that should be fine and let us try to add a uh, uh, let us try to we have a demo too and let us add a demo 3 over here and first name as a demo 3 and the last name as a test 3 right and we just give some a random date over here and just select the date and then just save this one we got that and just click on ok and just be back ok so we are good to go over here so we don't have to amend anything it's just over in the future over here and uh, once we got that one I think that should be the uh, one that we are currently looking and if I go back to the stream over here now uh, the next thing that we can actually do over here is to add our progress bar right so we can also add a progress bar over here and also we can add a progress bar over here so whenever we are first loading then we should actually see a progress bar so, and the next thing that we will be doing is we'll just add we will add a new 
uh, I think we'll add a new field over here and that will be of a boolean 2 and this boolean we will just call it as a each loading I think that should be fine each loading and this one is of the each loading and here I think we will also set it as a each loading so what we will do now is once we are getting this right so we will have to set it that to loading is to true so we have a false currently i think yeah that should be fine and now uh, each loading that we will be adding each loading it should be equals to true right and once we got that one and now we also need to set it to the false over here so underscore each loading once we have uh, each loading is equals to false and here too right so underscore each loading equals to false yeah so we also need to do it the same thing over here and that should be underscore each uh, loading equals to true once we are actually getting the data and once we are done with the data over here then we should actually notify that it's, it is done already right so we will set up as uh, underscore each loading to the on the equals to false so we got that and let's go back to our employee notifi uh, notify future over here and we need to get that particular uh, function right so we need to call that one so how do we actually listen to the change over here so whenever the is loading is changing we need to show a loading bar over here so what we will do is i'll just create a final variable over here and then i will call it as a uh, loading right which is of equals to context right and dot i have another one that we can use is actually a select and using this select i can actually select a let me change employee change notifier over here and if you see a select it will take actually uh, two type over here one each of the notifier type and one is another the type of the value that you are expecting so here we are actually expecting a boolean all right so here we will be expecting a boolean so it should be of a, a bool and here we are getting the change notifier right that is the value so i can just call this one as a notifier and once we got the notifier i can just say a notifier dot i want to listen to each uh each loading right so each loading is the one that we actually want to listen and let us close it over here so what is the difference between the each loading and is the select and the watch and the watch basically will watch the whole this particular change notifier so anything change any value change on this one will rebuild our widget over here so if you go over here so we have a lot of uh, fields over here right so so whenever the any of these field value changes right any of these value changes uh, it's going to rebuild our widget tree over here right so it it is going to rebuild everything but uh, whereas the select we can specify that only rebuild my widget when there is a change to this particular uh, value so notify that it's loading is changed then only rebuild my widget otherwise do not rebuild it right so that is the thing so this is should be more performant because you are just listening to a single value change over here right so only one of the field that's going to change uh, just let's say you are watching to this one and if this one change then only rebuild if the other thing change then don't uh, do not do anything right so but the whereas the watch is going to be um it's quite going to be aggressive because you the whole widget will be uh, rebuilt over here 
so you can also see that calling this um, calling this method is equivalent to the provider uh, provider of and which was we previously we were actually using this one to call right so provider of and passing it the if you go over here i think you are still using that the provider of and that passing in the um, the type that we need so it's quite similar that um, this is actually using that one on top so if you go to the watch uh, let me go inside this watch definition it's actually going to use as the provider of right so and if you go inside this provider of saying that um, it's you, it requires a build context and then this uh, listen value is uh, always true so which we had already previously done using over here provider or dot off and providing the type over here and context and we are setting it to listen because if you see that one um, where is that one where was that one here right somewhere i i couldn't get it so i think we need to go inside over here again and inside of this of provider of and here the default value is true right that's why we are setting it to the false over here so the next thing that we have to see is that this is going to build only if this particular is loading it change uh, and this will be rebuilding our whole widget tree so the next thing is that we have to set it over here so i can just say that each loading if it is loading then we are going to show a, a progress bar right so i can just uh, call this one as uh, we need to load a uh, let's create a center widget and inside this center widget i have a child and here i will pass a, a circular um, circular progress indicator over here and i think i can just call it as a const over here because we are not going to change anyone and otherwise uh, right so if not uh, what i did if not then just go and load this particular list view so we are saying over here if loading then load this one the circular progress indicator otherwise just load our list view so if you go and uh, run our application over here let's go and run without debugging over here okay i think i should have pressed this one now if you can see that it is actually showing uh, that one but it is really fast so i think you may not be able to see it all right so it's really fast and it may not be able to capture over here but obviously that the, that particular uh, loading is actually showing so if I um, go over here right and I think if I just uh, remove this section for now and then if I just actually run this one you can see that progress is actually loading over there right so that is the one is actually loading it but we are not able to see it because it's too fast over here right so we don't have any delay over here that's why you can just add try to add a delay and try to test it and the next thing that we want to do over here is we want to replace this one with the select over here too select and this will be the list right so l i s the list and list of the employee em, employee data right that we want to get so list of the employee data to over here and yeah i think that should be fine and once we got that one and here we need to provide the notifier over here right so once we provide the notifier over here what we can do is we can return a value from here that we are going to listen right so i need to close it over here first of all and here we will see a notifier dot i want to just listen to this particular employee list right employee list of future 
and then if i try to run my application one more time you can see everything is working fine right so uh, it's working fine just the thing is that now we have changed is to the select instead of the watch because we just want to uh, watch this one and watch this one right so that is the thing that we are actually doing over here so that is the difference between the um, you can call the difference between the uh, select and the watch over here context dot watch and the context dot select right so we have used both of that one if you want you can just go and uh, try to use the watch over here but i'm leaving it as a watch over here just to give you a reference and you can come back and take a look over here and the next thing that uh, you can do is you can also add a same progress bar over here that will be your assignment and uh, obviously we are going to come back and take a look to um, be uh, do it a little bit better over here so how we can improve this particular flow over here and how we can improve our provider over here so that's going to be the next focus so let's meet up on the next one till then have a great day